Now, here's my neighbor coming to bang on my door, almost breaking down my door. If I didn't have a chair in front of my door, I'm sure my door would have broken down. There's a maniac that lives next door who apparently got pissed off because I had my music on. I've been living for here for eight years and not one of my neighbors that has ever complained about my music. And somebody who does have a problem with my music does not have the right legally or otherwise to come banging on my door like a maniac like he did. Now, here's a recording of it because he later called the police because I threatened to call the police on him. So he hurried up and called the police. But um, here's a recording of the banging he did on my door. And so if police do come here, he's the ones that's getting charged. In fact, I'm going to get a peace bond and a non-harassment order against him immediately. I'm not going to put up with this type of behavior. Now, here's him banging on my door. Oh. Hey! I'd like to report something. Okay, for what town? For Cobalt, Ontario. Sure, what address did it happen at? 19 Watson, please. 19 what, sorry? 19 Watson, please. Watson, please. Yeah. Okay, and what happened? Uh, well, I would like to, to 
have an officer come here and uh, take my report of an attempted breaking and entering and damage to my front door in the process with a steel tool boot. And I've got a recording and I want him to come and check my door and I'd like to have him charged with uh, breaking and entering. And, uh, is your house someone trying to break into? Yeah. And what was the suspect's name, sir? I don't know his name. It's the, the neighbor next door. He just moved in there. He thought my music was too loud, so he came here trying to break down my door to harm me. Begging me to basically call police while he was doing it. Oh, so you, so you were home when this happened? Yes. Why well, didn't you call police when it was happening? I don't really want to go through that right now. i just like to have some officers who are not in a conflict of interest with me and not getting sued by me to attend. Okay, well then, uh, what's your name? Chantal Gelina. I saw your last name, Chantal. G-E-L-I-N-A-S. Oh, sorry, I, is it G or J? Sorry, G-E-L-I-N-A-S. And uh, your first name, Chantal, just C-H-A-N-T-E-L? T-A-L. T-A-L. Your date of birth? April 27th, 1976. Uh, your phone number? 705-492-2242. Now, okay. if possible, uh, I would like uh, for this not to be aired over the air. Um, okay. And um, also for if, like, when an officer's on his way, just when he's, like, near my house, just to give me a call, and then I'll go out and speak with them because nobody's coming in my house. Well, if you want them to investigate, they might have to, like, enter the house to see the damage. If it's the damage door. is just outside my door. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, okay. So when did this happen? September 7th. September 7th? At about... At what uh, time? At about 3 a.m. 3... Well, about court after 3 a.m., I guess. So, like, was it, like, this morning at 3 a.m.? So it could be used technically, or was it yesterday? Like, yesterday at 3 a.m. Okay. So it was yesterday at 3 a.m. Like, okay. September 7th. So I guess what he did is he came here banging, and then I was telling him I was going to call the police. And Anyways, I think his girlfriend was in the house at the time and did call the police, because of my music, and then the police showed up here. They never came to speak with me, um, and I never bothered to go out. They just, I guess, were patrolling on foot to see if they could hear anything or whatever. But they never came knocking here, so I know it was 40, Echo 406 and 408 who dealt with that call. But I, oh, okay. but, uh, but yeah, so anyways, um, and uh, so I saw them come here, and get out of their vehicle and come to my door, but they never knocked or anything, so... Okay. Well, if they were just investigating, like, at the time, a noise complaint, and they didn't hear any noise, then there would be no reason for them to, uh, to attend. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically he, he was attempting to break into my house to harm me there. I was recording the whole thing, so I'd like to have an officer come here. It was pretty scary. Yeah, for sure. I'll have this in, and an officer will be there as soon as they can, okay? Okay. Just have him call me before, so I know to go out and meet with them. And just ensure it's nobody that's in a conflict of interest with me because I really don't feel like dealing with uh, people who have previously discriminated me and falsely imprisoned me and falsely created mental health records against me okay, and stuff like that. I don't know any of your background. I don't know any of that. I'm just going to enter into the officer's will favor now. I'm sure if there's something going on between the two of you, and even the officer, they're not going to want to attend either because it's ongoing, right? Well, I shouldn't be refused the police service because they're getting sued for falsely imprisoned. And I shouldn't be uh, treated with discrimination because of it. So I don't know. You guys can figure it out. I don't know. There's a lot of them that are in a conflict with me. That's the reason why I don't call police. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. As long as you let them know and then they figure it out amongst themselves. Cause, uh, you know. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to call my voicemail because Lori Lalonde left a message there. I consider this message to be self-serving, ignorant, and a form of criminal harassment. She knew she should have never taken the call. Your password. You have two saved wireless voice messages. Now listen to her tone. Hi, Chantal. It's Constable Long calling. I think um, our phone call got interrupted accidentally. 
going to give us a call back at the police station. Uh, so I can hear some of your complaints. I'd be more than willing to hear it. Thank you. Bye-bye. To erase this message, press 7. Message will be saved for 5 days. Next saved message. Hi, the message will be saved for 3 days. End of messages. Hi, Chantal. It's Constable Long calling. I think um, our phone call got interrupted accidentally. It's going to give us a call back at the police station. Uh, so I can hear some of your complaints. I'd be more than willing to hear it. Thank you. Bye-bye. To erase this message, press that received at 4.46 p.m. from September an outside 8th, caller. 4.46 p.m. To erase Royal this alone. message, message will be saved for five days. Next. And this is the type of conduct that I find unacceptable. She used that position of trust as a police officer, knowing she had SIU and OIR PR, OP, OIPRD complaints against her, and she's still criminally harassing me. Uh, she and her friends are still listening uh, through my device by turning on microphones and cameras, and I'm sure that's what she did immediately after she committed this crime with me. Uh, she sat back with her friends, her racist friends, and listen to me inside my home react to the crime she had just committed against me. And Sergeant Perry, who later took my call, he's in a conflict of interest because he used to curl with the father of my child. He curls with Stephen Menye, which is a police officer who's cousins to my other uh, child's father. And he also curls with Judge Gordon, his best friend, who I have several uh, judicial counsel complaints against. Therefore, Sergeant Perry and Sergeant and uh, Officer Lalonde knew full well they were in a conflict of interest to deal with me, but yet did so to criminally harass me. For Sergeant Perry to tell me not to call back when I fear for my safety and my life from this neighbor trying to break into my house on September 7th is unacceptable. That is called neglect of duty and a denial of police service, uh, which is an offense. Um, under the uh, Police Services Act, and uh, they can't say that they failed to, or that they did provide me with a, a policing service by sending Lori Lalonde. That would be a farce. Talking about it. What can I do? Uh, you want me to talk to the neighbor about kicking well, on the door and that? Well, you heard, like, yep. he was definitely trying to break it down, yeah. you know? Well, Had he entered, he would have harmed me. If I well, didn't have a door there, if I already have a chair in front of my door, he had still two boots on. He did see the dents on my door. Now I'll take a picture of the door too. And yeah. I want him charged with attempted breaking and entering. Yeah, I, I, I want can't, it. I can't do that. Uh, like from the evidence that I've got, he, he there's well, yeah. That's like if you listen to the audio, I've well, got the I, audio. Well, I could send it to it. you so you could really listen to it. But, but I recorded it. But he's uh, kicking so hard, like my door yeah. was bouncing open. Like I said, if I didn't have my, I was ready to kill this guy if he entered. I thought it was the guy that showed up on December twenty yeah. second. I, I almost had a heart that. attack. Uh, you could hear that. Uh, I'm going like, to talk to him. I'm going to go talk to him, but I can't lay charges for for what happened there. Well, he damaged my door. Well, I'm going to take pictures yeah. of it. And he had yeah. still two boots on. Yeah. And the officer that came later was Hopkins, which is the guy who falsely yeah. imprisoned me, right? Yeah. And when he was doing that... It, is it, the neighbor home now? Though? I don't know. Okay. When he was doing that, and I told him I was calling the police, he he told me to call police. Like, yeah, I could hear You know what I mean? The and he's yeah. kicking harder. And yeah. that scared me so much that... To me, well, it wasn't an isolated incident. It had it everything scary. to do... Yeah. I believe it was scary, but I can't... I believe it has something to do with Lori Lalonde and the same group of people. Like, I don't even know what his last name is. But I if I know. knew his I'm last name, go. I could probably find one degree of separation to yeah. the people that are involved in the scanner crime with me. Well, I'm going to find out, and I will be talking to him and stuff. And because I, uh, I'm not going to put up with that. And, yeah. like, that's well, harassment, yeah. and, it, and it scared me. And it, he attempted well, to break and enter into my house. If I went to been here and there wouldn't have been the chair in front of the door, he would have kicked well, that door open. Like, look at the dents he did on there. It's a steel door. Like, you have to be kicking pretty hard, you know, to make those dents. 
and he was kicking hard. And you know how loud it was when you were turning it down? That's how loud it was when he came. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure this neighbor, I'm sure all the neighbors heard it because he, well, we'll I was yelling, her. you know. I, I am going to deal with it. Uh, I'm just saying I can't. And then the other neighbor, yeah. come and see the camera he's got pointed there. Like, full, 
fool. And I could hear both Wait. of you on the recording. I'm just saying, I'll deal with Listen that. to it again, I'll because okay. the, the, if he doesn't get charged, uh, I'm going to have to sue the OPP. Because I will not be terrorized like this any further by any fucking men around here. Well, I don't want you to feel that way. Get the fuck out of here. Here's the dents on my door from my neighbor coming at 3.30 in the morning, banging on my door like a maniac, denting it. There's how many dents? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And well, we'll attach that with the audio of him uh, banging down my door like he's coming to kill me. <laughs>